You are wrong. I'm Laura with Refine Chunk by Laura. Welcome to Thursdays at 3-ish. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope your Christmas was a merry one. And your Happy New Year has been fabulous. Hope everybody's healthy. We're excited to be into 2022. You're going to drop that? Yep. Can I help? No. Okay. You sure? Yep. Okay. I got this, baby. Right. I'm trying to make you look beautiful. It's that hard? No. <laughs> that may have been a misspoke. Okay. All right. Well, a couple announcements before we start. Um, our project for today. Um, you know what? We're going to start our project for today, and then I'll do a couple announcements while the first coat dries. Ha, huh, that's fair plan. So we're going to take this piece. It's a dark cherry piece. It's just an old file cabinet, but it's going to be perfect for where I want to put it. I measured the space. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to use Coastal Gray. Coastal Gray is the color of the month this month for the Who Wore It Best contest. We've been doing those for a couple months now. And... <laughs> what? He can come say hi, Katie. Oh, okay. He's naked. We don't want to say hi, he's naked. Yeah. Um... And so the color for Sorry. December was Snowy Day. So if you painted something in Snowy Day, it should be up and tell everybody you know to vote for it starting probably tomorrow-ish. And we'll vote through Monday. It's on our main Facebook page, the Rethunk Junk page, which you're on now if you're watching this. So um, go on and vote for those. Um, and it is definitely worth entering the contest. All you have to do is paint something in Coastal Gray for this month's and have it be 80% Coastal Gray. Just use mostly Coastal Gray. And um, submit it when it's finished. Stage it really pretty and submit it to um, customer service at rethinkjunkbylaw.com. If you do that, that enters you. First prize is $250 in product and second and third are $150 and $100, I think, something like that. So it's definitely worth doing. And that's why we're going to focus on Coastal Gray for this piece today. So I did half of it so you can see how fabulous it's going to turn out. And we're going to work on the other half and then I have a couple other announcements. So, starting from so, scratch, yes. First of all, we have a lot of hellos. I couldn't get to them. And second of all, people want to know if you breathe in between or if you just keep the words coming. No, I have said I'm really uncomfortable being on video. It's not my very, very favorite place to be. And when I get nervous, I talk fast. There's nothing I can do about it. You're just going to have to listen really, really quickly because I don't have any control over it. Sorry. So, we're going to start by taking the pools off. I'm going to move. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I didn't... I'm the I'm the one doing everything today, and I didn't do very good on the lights. So I'm trying to get that darn glare from going. You're the one doing everything today. I, I believe so. I said what I said. I don't think so. Oops, but it's too bright. <coughs> Maybe it's not on there, but it is to me. All right, taking the pulls off. Just so you're seeing, we're starting from scratch here, and how quick it'll go. And everybody's saying hello, so you should probably say hello, even though I can't hello. read all their comments yet. No, cause. so super excited that people are watching. Things got a little flaky at the end of last year with how many times we did Thursday 3 with the holidays. And then um, my dad had some health issues, and I was honored, and I'm not being sarcastic. I was seriously honored to be able to go down and help um, take care of him just a little bit and help my mom because of everything. I mean... I'll never be able to repay everything they've done for us, but it was nice to be able to help just a little bit. So they ain't done all that much for us. I'm just kidding. Wow. All right, that was a joke. That was a joke. I'm not even paying attention to it. Oh, do you want some help, sweet pea? I am not getting any of your bottom in any of the shots. And this is a file. This is what you get for so being too short. It's um, the drawers won't come. Hello from Florida, Lar. You look fabulous. Well, we will just give our apologies to everybody who's not from where we are because I think we're us in Florida are the only places in the country not getting snow right now. Isn't it crazy? It is cold. Do you want some help, sweet pea? Well, I said that a few minutes ago and you didn't, so I think I've got it. Well, it's um. You were busy. Laura, you Throwing are shrinking. Oh, did somebody say that? Or uh -huh. No. Okay. That's lovely. Thank you. I'm trying really hard. I'm not shrinking fast enough. And it's not nearly as fun as unshrinking was. That seems to go so much faster and be so much more fun. All right. Pulls almost off. They said they're sweating in South Florida. I, uh, I'm helping her out, though, because I'm eating everything that could cause you to gain weight. No, I'm not. And, uh. So she needs to thank me for her weight loss. One All degree right. in Colorado. Wow. Whoa, are you kidding? One degree. I know. I couldn't be in Colorado. 
Okay. Snowing and cold. I'm telling First you, it's snowing and cold everywhere. We're so show. lucky. First step for those of you who are new, and hopefully there are some of you who are new, is prep. This is, and I've had some people say, no, you have to do more. Eight so, inches of snow and still falling in Lexington, they said. Wow. That's where, where, That's where my mom is. She's yeah. hunkered down for the rest of the year, I guess. So, I've had Our, some people say, no, you got to do a this? whole bunch more. This is, this is prep. We sell prep. Well, I was, <laughs> for the people out I there who might not know, doofus. So, um, really all you have to do is spray the piece with prep. Let it sit for a couple of seconds and then wipe it down. Sometimes, if it's a super, super shiny piece, I'll use a scrubby pad. Or if I'm doing kitchen cabinets, I'll use a scrubby pad. But for the most part, this really is all it takes. If you're having trouble with the paint sticking a little bit, most of the time that's because you're needing to use, uh, needing to give it a little bit longer time to cure. So that's all you have to do. Now, it, the paint's going to self-level and it's all going to blend where I stopped right here. But I will say... If you are glazing something or staining something, don't stop in the middle like that. I did that so we could kind of do a show and tell of here's what it did look like, here's what it's going to look like. But don't do that. The paint will blend that way. A stain or a glaze, you don't want to stop in the middle and have it do that. So, And I'm not painting the top because I'm going to do something different to the top that Tom's probably going to throw a fit about. So I'll probably just do it myself. But I'm going to do something different with the top. Not today because it requires some... Cutting and piecing and cool stuff like that. Yeah. Cutting and piecing. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> I guess I should say this now that's uh -huh. kind of unique to our paint. Um, because we were talking about how cold it is everywhere. Uh, you might not want to set it out on your front lawn. You could. Um, it's an indoor-outdoor paint. But uh, I get this question all the time. You can paint with this paint down to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we'll do is slow down your dry time. It'll slow down your dry time and it will, it'll feel a little thick, but it will, you can do that. It's designed to do that. So if you've got a garage, I get the call all the time. I'm out in my garage. Am I going to be able to paint? <clears throat> as long as it's above 35 degrees, six degrees, is you're good. Is it okay for me to do this side first? <coughs> it's very dark over here, but that's okay. It's you, good. Um, Go for it. You sure? Life is great. It okay. looks like it's still wet from prep, but. Well, you know me, I'm waiting. I'm I know. Patient. Okay. So if I've got something like this, and this is a perfect example because this is a lot of, uh, to a certain extent, this is what this a cabinet door will look like because you've got molding and then a big spot in the middle. So I'm going to hit the part that is the molding part first and get the paint on there. And save in the top, like I said, because I'm going to do something different on the top. But I'm going to get it everywhere for this first coat. And then I'm saving that big expanse in the middle for last. This is just personal preference. This is what I do that works for me. Of course, I am a seasoned professional, so you don't want to do it that way. But All right, so I've got the main part covered. It is dark over here. It's dark over here for me. Yeah, it's dark. Okay. Well, but luckily, I'm putting a dark color on it. So. All right. Got that everywhere. Now I'm going to do the middle. <laughs> Sassy Fordham said hello from Millen. Oh, yay! We know where that is. Yay! It was so cute. I was in the grocery the other day with um, Teddy, and somebody walked up and said, congratulations to him on being a big brother before too long. Totally freaked me out. I'm like, how would somebody have known that? Initially, <laughs> initially my thought was, does this person think I'm the mom and I look pregnant? Um, and then it was really cute because she was like, no, I got you live. So we made the announcement that Katie is expecting again. Woo-hoo! So Teddy will be a big brother or a big sister. We don't know what she's having yet, so. Just kidding. I know it doesn't work that way. Just kidding. She's going to keep it a secret, she says. Yeah. All right. They've so, put it on all her charts not to let her know that she's keeping it a secret. I know. I it's think that's awesome. Nuts. You just think that's awesome because I can't shop. You, oh, I've never known anything to keep you from. I will be able to find something, I'm sure. I was going to say. Yeah. All right, coastal gray is such a pretty color, such a pretty color. So again, just going in all, it's just so, the paint, all the paint colors, but the paint line is so easy to use. This is going over dark cherry, and as you can tell by the fact that this piece was bonked right here a long time ago, this isn't real wood, but it's going on and going to be fabulous. Well, you can see the other side's already fabulous, and that was just two coats on the other side, so... Um, 
That's Got another one from Mill in Georgia. The whole town has shown up. The whole town. <laughs> Two. That's awesome, though. Makes me happy. We have Somebody wanting 10 inches of snow where they are. Somebody wanting 10 inches of snow? Somebody asked, uh, this is a good question. Uh -huh. How did you get started in painting? I love getting to watch your journey. Oh, my goodness. I started in painting. Let me just tell you real quick. I'm just painting over this. You don't have to. I painted over the lock because it sticks to metal really great. And now I'm just kind of distressing it. When it I'm looks done, like it sticks really well as you wipe it right off. It was wet. Still. I'm joking. When I'm done. If you want to take that off, you can. But I'm all about getting a project done and not spending forever and ever and ever on details. So I just painted right over it. Oh, I was painting furniture. My family, my family says I have control issues. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. But I did discover a while ago in life that I cannot always control what my five children do. On my spouse, but I can control how that dresser looks. So it was cheaper than therapy. So I started painting, and Tom said his style of decorating is like hotel decorating. You have the bed and maybe a picture over the bed and an end table. And we had a couple extra things because I was painting. And so he said, You need to try and sell one of those. I didn't think anybody would buy it, but I did sell a piece, and then I sold another piece, and another piece, and another piece. And I just really enjoyed the painting process. Tom, we said if we did his genealogy, there would be a direct bloodline to Ebenezer Scrooge. Tom's super, super frugal. So he found an invoice where I was purchasing some of the paint products out there where you don't sand and you don't prime. Because um, one of the best primers out there, if you had to prime, is white and they can't really tint it. And so you're painting something white and then painting it black and that doesn't make any sense. So he said, I can come up with a product like this. And I said, no, you can't. Um, forgetting that he owned a chemical company for about two or three years. So he did. It took him about two or three years to come up with something I didn't throw over the back fence, but he did. And then when people said, how do you get so much done? Nobody believed me when I said, because I'm fabulous. It was the paint and it is the paint. It really is amazing how quickly you can get something done and how quickly you can transform something. So it's been really cool. It was a little scary the day he said he was going to quit his day job and be all in with this, but it has been phenomenal. And awesome. And if Millen I has hadn't... been a great choice, too. Those of you from Millen watching, to be here in the school has been... Unique. If I had known who my boss school. was going to be, I would have stuck with my other job. Oh, oh, it oh, says, oh. I want to use this color on the bottom of the cabinet. It's my kitchen. And do white on the top cabinets. Oh, that will be so pretty. I can't read That'll the rest of That'll be so fresh spot. and clean. That'll look so, so good. I'm going to use a little bit of our white glaze. In case they're wondering, um, she painted the right side before. Yeah. So that's why, in case you're wondering what the started. crud, yeah. This is so. only, this is two coats. That's only one coat, just so you can see the start to finish thing. Um, and I'm not going to turn the fan on because people complain about the fan all the time. So I'm going to, this probably won't dry. Well, it's not going to dry as quickly as we want it to. So dry. would you so say they're not a fan? fan. Oh. One thing I do want to share, though, is you probably, if you've been watching the Facebook page, are noticing that we have... New colors coming. We are introducing nine new colors. You will want to turn in, tune in next week to Thursday at 3 because I'll be showing them all. We'll be talking about them. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. We'll be talking about them. Um, and I'm just teasing with our retailers. You can frame this, those of you who just have it sitting somewhere. You can put it in a frame. Um, this little fabulous poster that Rochelle created. So um, we've got nine. They're all inspired by nature colors. We've revealed three of them, so I'm going to show you those really quick. But next week, we're going to talk about all nine of them. They are beautiful colors. Right now, some of our retailers um, have them. So call your local retailer and see if they do. They'll go on our website later on, giving our retailers a shot at um, jumping out there and selling them before we do. But don't ask them to ship because they're not allowed to ship to you. Um, we want a fair playing field. And some of our retailers don't have them because shipping right now is just ridiculous. I know COVID has had a little bit of a flare up and people are tired of hearing that kind of thing, but it is affecting the shipping world and availability big time. I was saying something on one of our Facebook lives the other day about the fact that Chick-fil-A has having trouble right now coming up with what they need. So we're not quite as big as Chick-fil-A, so it's understandable that we've got some shipping issues um, as well. So the colors that we have revealed already are... So they're all mentioning a mic. Let me let me explain. No, no it take too long. It take too long. Let me sum up. I got a cheap mic and it broke. Yeah, yeah. the mic couldn't take Clara. Oh, it it blew out. I did but, but on I a positive note, and I would love a suggestion if any of you have a suggestion for which one. To on get. a positive note, when she wore the mic, you couldn't hear me. So you know there was a big trade off. 
Uh, we know you all want to be able to hear me. Another reason to get a mic. So the three that we have revealed already are blue spruce. This is a gorgeous color. I totally love it. It'll be kind of hard to see because it'll be, uh, it'll have a glare because it's wet. Somebody said but they like this, your wall and cabinets. Oh, thank you. This is, this was in the school, except for I added the big phenomenal shelf. This is, is that better with no glare? Yes. Blue spruce is a gorgeous color. So this one's blue spruce. And again, it's so hard to tell. The lighting makes it different and weird. This we're doing blue spruce. We haven't moved on yet. Whoa, blue spruce. Okay. You know they first can we see need the hearts for blue spruce. Container. Did you know that? Yeah, but you can get a little bit better idea of the color it is if oh. you can kind of see it. This one is wheat field. We posted a picture of this one. Oh, mm -hmm. this is yep, a sure sign better. that you have not shooken up your paint. I did not shook it up. It's a really pretty color, we feel this. They're all really pretty colors. It's similar to the color you see through the side of the container. You are sassy. And then this one is one of my favorites. This one is sea spray. <laughs> sea spray is so pretty. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Ooh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Move that and I can get that. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really pretty color. How come there's no hearts going up the side of this camera? These people are heartless. <laughs> oh, so I know. Right. I'm on it so, today. I, I, I have to walk backwards, and I am not what's her name, the dancer. Wait, hold on just one second. Let me see if I can hold it up turned on low. I won't turn it on high, but let me see if I can get it just a little bit drier. And I'm going to play with the white glaze on the side that it's already dry, obviously. Because the soft white glaze people don't use enough, and it is so pretty. Somebody asked if you have floor paint yet. You want to take that one or you want no, me you to? you can address that one, sweetie. We have a floor paint. We designed a floor paint. We've used the floor paint. We've used the floor paint. We love the floor paint. <laughs> That's floor paint on every hallway in this building. Um, but we can't sell it until we can get a good supply, and that's what we were talking about. <clears throat> we just finally gave up. They couldn't even begin to tell us when we were going to have good supply on it, if it was going to be able to show up, if it wasn't. Um, and we're not alone in that. We're grateful for what we have. But um, that truly is just one of those things where when we get a good supply in and we know we're going to have it, we'll do it because it's going to be very popular. It's a great product. Um, and like I said, we have the colors. Everything's good set. We just The supply is, is an issue right now. So we're just kind of waiting. Like everyone else, we're kind of waiting it out until – Supply issues get better. All right, I'll move over to this side where we can actually. Somebody see. said they liked my commentary and then said, "And your bad jokes." When have I ever told a bad joke on well, here? Told a good one. Okay, come around this way. Wow, that was mean. So we're gonna play around with the glaze just a little bit. I'm gonna do it over here. If I am, this is a miracle brush. Love Amy miracle said she brush. died over sea spray. She loves the Amy Robert. Oh, it's so pretty, and it's so pretty. It really is pretty. It's a really pretty color. It's one of my favorites. And I'm surprised at how many things these go with, how many neutrals, how many you, you can put them with so many of our other paint colors and they just look so, so pretty. All right, so first logical place would be to put them in the cracks here. So I'm using the Miracle Brush to get the glaze in that little area. Miracle Brush is fabulous. It's great for painting cabinets and corners and all kinds of fun things. So I'm just putting the glaze in the areas that I want it and then I'm going to blend slash erase with, I remember today, a slightly hydrated rag. How's that? Ah, I'm on my game. All right. You're on your game? Uh-huh. And I just want it to kind of be in the cracks. The nice thing is about the glaze, you've got some time to play with it and make it where you want it to be. It kind of lightens things. I'm having a hard time getting the whole thing here. Can you step back enough that you can... Yeah, I got it. And I'm rubbing pretty hard on this to get the glaze to go where I want it to go. Um, and just painted the first coat on this. I want probably at 2 o'clock. So yeah, obviously the paint is sticking. Now if I want it on a bigger surface area, I'm not going to use that miracle brush because I don't want it to be as choppy. But you don't have to use a nice brush. You can just use a chip brush. So they said, where can you buy the new paint, the new colors? You They're going to be online before too long. We don't have an exact release date. But call your local retailer and check with them. Because um, we've been shipping to them so that we love our retailers. We try our hardest to support them. And we've been shipping to them so that they can hit the ground running with it. And 
lots of them have a supply already. So just check, call and check with them. Okay. Translation, we've been losers. They've ordered the paint, and no, we haven't been able to get it to everybody in time. This so. isn't us. This is seriously beyond our control. It is. Every day I just sit there and watch the notifications coming in. This truck has been delayed. This trailer has been delayed. I know you thought that was on its way to your place, but it's not. It truly is an amusing time right now. No, it's not amusing. It's stressful. Well, it is what it is. We've got great retailers who have been patient with yeah. us. So, and understand that, you know, it really is not anything we can do anything about. Okay. You see how pretty that soft white glaze makes it? I like it heavier on the edges, but you can see where I've got the glaze right here, and it's not right here. See the difference in the two areas? And when you are glazing, one of the people, one of the problems people have when they're glazing, number one is overworking it. If I keep rubbing it, I can rub it off. I can make it a big mess. The other thing is you have to remember you are looking at it way more critically than anybody else is going to. This is going to be sitting on the floor, not up at eye level, and it's going to be something that, well, if you Oh, have I'm sorry. Friends, I should have had it on you. I had it on that. That's okay. If you have friends coming over and really inspecting this, I've teased about it before. You need new friends. So this is going to be an overall look when you get done not something that um, is, is going to be inspected like this. It's just going to be soft and beautiful. When I'm glazing, um, after a while, I get enough glaze on the piece and or my rag that I don't have to keep applying the glaze. I can just use my rag and put the glaze on with the rag because there's enough built up in the rag. But let, the other thing you have to remember about the glaze is You'll, there will come a point, when I used to teach classes, when I had a booth, there, it, people would be like, I can't glaze, I can't do it, I can't get it. And then there would be a point where you can, most of the time you could actually hear people go, oh, because they got it. All of a sudden they got it. They, whatever their hand motion was that worked, whatever the look was they were going for, all of a sudden you would hear that they would get it. So be patient with the glazing. Those of you who have glazed before, back me up here, that you can, you can get the look you want. It just takes a little bit of plan. Um... And the soft white glaze is pretty even on lighter colors. It adds another dimension. My sister has a beautiful home. She's got really great, fabulous, cool farmhouse taste. And she put it on a barn door that she had built that she painted cotton. And she said it just made all the difference. And I would never have guessed cotton. It would have been that big a deal on. But she said it just made it soft, pretty, added a whole other dimension. And then the nice thing about the glaze is... So let's say, I'm kind of liking what I have going there, but, just one second, where's my paint? Oh, there it is. Um, the beauty of it is, if you're not liking it, if it's too dark in a spot, if you change your mind, you know? Oh, somebody asked what the spray bottle was, and somebody else answered and said water. It is water, so I can slightly hydrate my rag. So, but if you're not liking what you've done with the glaze, super easy to fix it. You're going over stuff really quickly. No, mean? go ahead. I'm sure, I know you're doing that, but I'm like, that's still going to be wet. Yeah, but all you're going to do is erase it and go again. Worked, right? It, Laura, it worked. Right? So, don't stress about it because you can start over and you can keep playing with it until you get the look you want. Dur, dur. That that's one of the things I love about the paint. It's really, really hard to mess up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat over here, even though Tom's going to yell at me and say, don't do this at home. Too soon for a second coat. Did I say that? No, but you were going to. No, I wasn't. I'm me. I'll decide what I'm going to say. Goes really far too. I've done one other end table, and then this project right here, and Tom's going to show them how much is still left in the paint I'm working on. So, over half. Uh -huh. And I don't know the, if that was a good view of that, but not best case scenario because you do want to give it some time. But bottom line is, this is not wood. We did not we did not put a primer on we use the prep that we say yes it does okay. work it so may, clean your feet yes we'll go ahead. i'm sorry somebody asked if we could show this glaze container so let me yes sorry of course it's aimed exactly the wrong direction 
of what we want. But that's our soft white glaze. Um, they also asked, uh -huh. what is the color? It's soft white glaze, but this color this is, is coastal, coastal gray. gray. Mm -hmm. So that's coastal gray. We put our first coat on just a few minutes ago. hard to tell with the lights, ago. but. First coat just a few minutes ago. And no, it's not best case scenario to second coat this soon. But bottom line is, I'm impatient. We are. And everything's going great. There's not. When Laura used to paint furniture, she would set it around her four pieces and she would paint a coat on a piece, go the next one, paint a coat, go the next one, go the next one. And the first one had to be dry before she got to back to it because it didn't matter if it was or not, she was going to do it anyway. But she would do four pieces at a time and That's she would okay. do that three or four times a day. Um, so what is the consistency of the, they're asking if it's thicky, thicker or waterier. The what, the glaze? The glaze. Yep. Right now, I'm trying to put a second coat on. I don't have time. And Amy, no questions. No, sorry, and Amy Roberry said she likes the black pearl over. Black pearl looks beautiful. Black over pearl gray. Is a wash, not a glaze. Um, yeah. So not correcting Amy. She's right. It looks beautiful over it. I'm just saying, you know, don't think black. Pearl, don't look for the black pearl glaze because it's not a glaze. Um, but it's gorgeous over it. And all of these are beautiful, combined into faux finishes. The, the nice thing is the products are so easy to use and all work really well together. Sorry, so. it's so dark over here. Why well, we move um, this into like this corner, I have no idea. Whose idea was that? Well, you know, if you'd like to say, you can be in here when I say, will someone come help me? The glaze is, um, somebody said it was, seemed like it was a little watery. Um, it is, quick. yeah, it is thinner. So. But a lot of times with the paint or the glaze, if you expose it to air, it thickens up like this for me because the paint depending on the base we use the paint can actually have a different consistency the different colors yeah. this one for me is a little runny most people probably love it that way i'd probably leave the lid off and paint with it again tomorrow and be happier because i like the paint thicker a lot of people don't if you don't like it thicker and you have one that is thicker use the spray bottle but the glaze is not as thin as the paint but it is... No, it's thinner than the paint. Uh, yeah, sorry. Not as not thick, as, thick, not as, as, thick as the paint. Yeah. But it is easy to use, easy to spread around. Come to the back of this piece real quick. This only has one coat on it. I was being an overachiever and painting the back. So you can see the consistency. It's very thin. See it dripping all over when I'm painting with it. But that gives you the ability to really move it around. and play with it, blend it, erase it, add more, erase more, so you get a look you want. See, I just took it right off the wood there because I yeah. just want it on the paint. There we go. And you can tell, obviously, that this is also a, a spot when you're glazing, especially if you're doing a big surface area, if you're doing a table, don't start and stop. You'll have a choppy look, so don't start and stop, and don't curve your arm. This has a curve to it, and you can see that. Normal hand motion. Tom makes funny moon. Whatever I do, the normal hand motion has a curve to it. If you're waving high to some, this is harder to do. It's not when you're doing this direction. If you're cleaning your... When I wave, I go straight up and down. I don't know what you're talking... straight up and down. That is a dumb way. So okay. just make sure you don't do that because it's going to show up on the piece. Make sure you're going straight up and down. And same thing if I'm doing the side of a piece. If I'm doing the side of something, I'm going to get... A curve unless you're paying attention so pay attention and go straight or it's not going to look natural um, especially if you're doing one of the faux finishes it's not going to look natural because wood doesn't do that wood has well it has some curve in the green but you know it's not it's not a rainbow so be careful with, with that kind of motion when you're doing it so um, the other option you have if you're not liking where the glaze is or how much glaze is they're talking it out she, it may be a vintage wash that she has and that is the consistency of milk the washes are a consistency it's of... very, very thin. Yeah. It's like the consistency of water. Yeah, it's, it's very thin. It's very thin. The glaze is thicker than the wash, and the paint is thicker than the glaze. So if I'm... Somebody like, asked if you painted the top. No, I have not painted the top or done anything not yet. the top. I'm going to resurface the top. I'll show you what I'm doing with that after, after I get done. Yeah, somebody asked what colors we have, and uh, Rochelle went on and told them, but yeah... Classic black, soft white, antique brown, and then we have a tenable, which is clear, and you can put any color in it you want. So I can which go back nice. and fool around with the glaze if I want. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm sorry, well, sweet pea. Cool around with the glaze if I want. Or if I've gotten it too thick, another solution. What, what am I doing? Oh. I just have a little bit of paint on the brush, and I can just go in and erase in the areas where I feel like if it's too thick or too much. Or I don't like the way, you know, to get in the crack there, smoosh it. I, especially at this point, I would risk taking some of the paint off because it's so freshly painted. But I can go in there and erase with the paint a little bit and make it not as in your face. So it's so easy to play with and get a look you're happy with. It's going to be really pretty when I'm done. I'm excited. I'm excited. Anybody have any questions about the process? Remember that we have nine new colors coming out, so check our page every single day. Let us know what you think of the colors. We've had a lot of really fun comments. Um, makes us happy. Makes us feel like you chose the right colors. There are so many um, of our retailers who have been really smart and noticed that they're very much trending colors. They're very much colors that all of my daughter's daughter-in-law, they are all loving all of the colors um, as they do their decorating. And a couple of them have changed up ideas for what they want to do for their rooms um, to redecorate and have chosen some of these colors. They're super, super cool. They'll be at your retailers now or very, very soon after now. They'll be on the website. For those of you who don't live near a retailer, just hang tight. We'll have them on the website before too long. This month's color is Coastal Gray for the Who Wore It Best contest. Paint a piece, 80% Coastal Gray. Go to the front because things can be really start looking really pretty. Um, paint a piece, 80% Coastal Gray. Email that picture to customer service at rethinkshipbarrel.com. Then you have entered. Grand prize is $250 if, if your piece gets voted for. Go on probably starting tomorrow and vote for the piece Snowy Day that you like the best. That'll be on our website to help whoever you love or adore there win. And um, You're a little close to that light. Well, I'm close to that light. You've got bloom, Laura. Didn't that, isn't that what they said to us one time? You're blooming. Oh, Better. somebody said, um, somebody asked how you wash the brushes. Soap and water. Everything we have is water-based products. Soap and water cleans all the brushes. Okay. And somebody said congratulations on the new grandbaby. Not till June, and she's not figuring out what it is, but I can hang on and wait. Well, I mean, I don't have a choice, really, do I? No, I don't. So. If you did. I would already know. Katie could already the know. The baby would already be here. Already know, but so many of you, when I said it uh, earlier this week, some of you were like, oh, that's cool, that's right. Her doctor said, oh, that's cool. I have you and one other patient, like in the last year, that has said, let me wait. And she thought it was super, super cool. Yeah, at her last her appointment, her. at her last appointment, which was yesterday, she had to tell them she didn't want to know because they said you will know at this appointment if you don't tell us. Yeah. So, they've got so isn't that cool? Mark on chart not tell, it's so. exciting. This will be super, super beautiful when I'm done. I'll post a picture when I'm finished because I'm going to do something cool with the top two. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. We would love to have you guys comment on this thread right here the kinds of things you would like to see for Thursday at 3 this year. Let me know what you want to see so we can do what you want to do. Happy to. So there are times when I have a hard time figuring out what to do because I'm like, I've already painted something with that color, or I've already glazed, or I've already, you know, so let us know what it is you would like to see, so we can plan Thursdays at 3 that will, um, that somebody will watch. <laughs> I mean, I do take a shower, you might as well watch. So, no, I um, think there, I think a lot of the things are going to be Tom on camera more in that new <laughs> shirt I bought. Tom on the camera. Yep. Yes. And That's especially when it turns, let us know, right? especially when it turns summer and I'm in my swimsuit. <laughs> Excited about the new colors. Paint your piece coastal gray. Let us know what you think. And happy rethinking. Oops, sorry. Switch hands.